everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today we'll be going over the abductor, that is ABD, abductor, pollicis longus muscle. And that's not to be confused with ADD, duction. Okay, abduction meaning pulling away from the midline. Adduction, ADD, means adding to the midline. So, moving on from that, just so you know, distinct distinction from there uh, I will go over like every other video the location which includes the origin also known as the starting point the insertion also known as the ending point followed by its function and then finally providing you the best exercise to strengthen this muscle so to start off again I'm going to go over the location first and then we'll build from there so the abductor pollicis long longest muscle originates or starts from two points on the back of your forearm. The first point being the posterior aspect, which is the back side of the radius bone and also the about the mid section of the ulna as well. Again, that is on the back of the forearm. So looking at the back of your forearm, if you have your thumb facing down, you're looking at two points, pretty much right in the middle, but this would be your ulnar side and this would be your radius side. The radius side is f closer to the hand and then the ulnar side is just above that. So it's kind of diagonally originated on the back of your forearm. And then this muscle runs down and inserts onto the base of your first metacarpal, also known as your thumb. So it's actually inserted onto pretty much the bottom of the hand right here, right before all your little wrist bones. Okay, so now that you know where this muscle is on my body, to clear any confusion, I'm gonna go ahead and add in an illustration so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Here's that illustration for you. Okay, so now that we know exactly Okay, so now that we know exactly where this muscle lies, now we can move on and apply its functions. So the main function of the abductor pollicis longus muscle is to obviously abduct the thumb from the hand. So looking at abduction of the thumb from the hand, it looks like so. Now, it also has very, uh, it has a whole lot of other functions as well, such as extension of the thumb. We're also looking at abduction of the wrist. It also assists with supination of the forearm from a pronated position. However, this is a weak movement. So supination from a pronated position, this would be the pronated position, palm facing down, and this would be supinated. So you're looking at that radio ulnar supination, and again, that does this movement weakly. It also assists with wrist extension. So those were the uh, five main excuse me, the five movements or functions of the muscle. However, it has only one main function, which is abduction of the thumb. So now that we know exactly what this muscle does and what its functions are and which are primary and which are secondary, now we can move on to the exercise that will best strengthen this muscle the best, excuse me. So looking at an exercise, for this particular muscle. Again, it is a smaller muscle, so you're looking more towards manual exercise or maybe adding like a rubber band to your hand, just, you know, like one that you might use to tie something together or put your hair up with. So again, 
with abduction of the thumb, you can either apply manual resistance and do abduction. So applying manual resistance. So if the thumb is by the side, then pull it away. Okay, so again, just manual resistance will do. You can use like a rubber band if you want to uh, wrap it around your hand here. And then, okay, you guys, that wraps up for this muscle functions video. If you have any questions, I do apologize that my video is kind of short and kind of cut off there towards the end of the exercise demonstration. However, my camera is running out of space once again. I do so much on my phone, but I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, so again, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. Hit the like button. That helps me out. Pass it on with the share. If you found it valuable or informative or helpful in any way, hit the like button anyways. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you all next week.